Welcome back everybody. I have an awesome project for today's video. So it started as a personal project at the fraternity house. I took 330 feet of RGB LED strips and lined the entire ceiling of the main rooms. So now all of the ceiling is lined with these RGB LED strips and it looks absolutely phenomenal. And after doing that, I realized I should do this in the office as well because it looks just so damn good. To do this, these are the units we'll be using. Instead of the little 15 foot RGB LED strips we've used in the past for all like desk setups and stuff, these are 33 foot RGB LED strips. They were the longest single strips that I could find on Amazon with prime shipping for a reasonable price. Uh, they cost around $36 for the 33 foot RGB LED strip, which really isn't that bad, just a little above a dollar per foot. And you'll notice if you get these, uh, it's actually not only is the LED strip itself higher quality, the adhesive is higher quality, the remote is better, everything is a better experience about this, the reviews are better, they're more reliable. So these are really nice LED strips. So let's go ahead and whip it open and put them on. All right, so what's included in the box is the AC adapter, so this plugs into the wall, this end goes into here, and then this end has the IR receiver for the remote as well as the plug-in for the LED strip itself. This is the 33 foot LED strip that will be what we will be unwinding in a second, and I think it actually might reach all around the office. I'm not sure we'll need the second one, but I did get a second one just in case. And then they actually included some extra adhesive, which is a pretty nice touch. So something you're gonna to need to keep in mind is that this power outlet needs to be plugged in somewhere. And that seems kind of obvious, but what that means is that from some outlet somewhere in the room, there's gonna to need to be a cable going up from the outlet up towards the ceiling. Now it's not that big of a problem because if you use an extension cord and you connect strips together, you can end up going up in one place and having like 150 feet of LED strips coming from just that one wire going up. So it's really not that big of a deal, but it does need to go up somewhere. So you're gonna wanna choose somewhere that doesn't matter if there's a wire going up. This is perfect for me because this is never in a video. Uh, all the other outlets would kind of maybe be in the background of a video. So I don't want that. So I'm just gonna throw it here. And while we're up here, I'm gonna mention that this, in this case, because I'm not using an extension cord, the LED strip is actually gonna come down a little bit like that to plug into the receiver. And that's no problem for me. I don't really mind because this is out of the way, not in any shots. Doesn't really matter, I'm more worried about how it will look on set and stuff like that. Uh, but if that's gonna be a problem for you, definitely get an extension cord so you can bring it all the way up to the ceiling and then mount it up there using adhesive or tape or something. Okay, so you can see that that LED strip ended right there. So I'm gonna need to use the second LED strip. Fortunately, they're really easy to cut to size. They have uh, they have these little indents. You can see right there, right that copper part. Yeah, you can cut right on that copper part and uh, it's not gonna interfere with the circuitry or anything and you can cut it perfectly to size. So I'll be able to just attach it to that and then bring it back to the start. However, in order to attach that LED strip to the end of that one, I need this four pin piece that's currently stuck and lodged in this receiver. And this is probably the most tedious and annoying part of the process. You kind of just got to wiggle it like a tooth until the piece itself comes out. Two hours later. Got it, that's what it looks like. It's just four pins on either side and it allows you to connect one end of the LED strip into another. One more important thing when you're doing that connection is test connect it first and make sure they're both oriented the right way. If one is uh, the right side up and one is upside down, they will not be in sync color wise. So definitely test it first, make sure that they are both the right side up and doing the same color and then actually put all the adhesive on and keep it connected. All right, so here we go. We now have RGB LED strips lining the entire ceiling of the office. Now, of course, with the if it wasn't daylight outside, you would be able to see it better and it would glow even more. That's gonna make a very nice effect on the videos. Uh, this is the normal set, having the strips up there, all the way around, including over by setup hacks. I think they look absolutely phenomenal. I love it. 
And if you want, you can actually keep all this extra LED and plug it in somewhere else, or if you need just a little bit of extra to add on somewhere else, you can actually use this extra and just plug in from the other end, as long as the orientations match up like I mentioned earlier. So that about wraps it up. There's one last thing I'll mention is when you're using like a fade mode, as long as they're working off the same receiver like here, the two strips will be in sync. But if you have separate receivers in the same room, that fade mode will not be matched up perfectly. So you have to stick to just solid colors, uh, but that still works fine. But that's it. So this was just a quick video installing and showing you guys this, uh, this, I guess it's just a slightly unique way of using RGB LED strips with the really long ones. I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. It's a really nice accent lighting. You can turn them off easy when you're not using them. Uh, we definitely don't keep them on at the fraternity house because that would just be a little obnoxious all the time. But I think they look absolutely amazing. And uh, honestly, I just love RGB LED strips everywhere. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay classy.